Hi, I'm Harry. And I'm Elle. And today we're going to help you with your accommodation search, show you around London, some different areas you may have heard of, may have not heard of, to help you with your property search. We'll give you the approximate times into Guildhall from each location, some pros and cons of the area, and uh, yeah, some top tips and trivia facts along the way. So let's go. So we're at Mile End Park right now, which is one minute from the station, serviced by the Central Line, total journey of about 20 to 25 minutes. You go to Liverpool Street and then it's a short walk from there. Um, and it's the hottest line on the underground, 35 degrees in the summer of 2019. Uh, but don't worry, there's plenty of bus routes as well uh, and the cycle highways as well, all the way through to Liverpool Street and beyond. Lots of different properties in this area, houses, flats, masonettes. Try and be as open-minded as possible. Don't be put off by council blocks. There are a lot of council blocks all over London, uh, but they can be some of the best to live in. So yeah, be open-minded. That's my end, everyone. We're now just on the other side of Mile End Park where we're next to Regent's Canal. Regent's Canal makes for gorgeous walks. Also in Mile End, you have a go-karting track in the park as well as a climbing wall. So we're at Canada Water now, which is on the Jubilee line and the overground. Uh, the overground takes you north all the way through the, I can't remember where it goes now actually. Sam, where's it go? Hoxton, Haggerston, Islington. Uh, and then the Jubilee line takes you all the way to London Bridge and beyond to Baker Street. Um, one of the pros of this area are that you have the lovely docks area. It's very quiet, uh, especially on the weekends. Um, it's slightly excluded from the hustle and bustle and you also have the Surrey Key Shopping Centre which is actually just over the dock from me now. Um, prices of properties are similar to that of central London but you're probably more likely to get better bang for your buck. We're at Bermondsey now, um, it's on the Jubilee line, it's about 20 minutes approximately door to door to Guildhall and you're just a short walk away from the Thames. It's not the most picturesque area, but uh, the bus routes are pretty good here. The C10 I've been approved, that is amazing bus straight to Victoria. Uh, the night bus routes are pretty good as well around here. Um, Jubilee line, fantastic line, best line out of them all. Uh, Bermondsey, solid place to live. We're now in Borough. Borough is connected by the Northern Line, which can take you straight to Moorgate. Alternatively, you can walk to Guildhall in about 35 minutes. Um, it's also a 10 minute walk to London Bridge Station, which is serviced by the Jubilee Line. Uh, it is a more expensive area to live, but there are lovely streets such as this one with lots of local delis and bakeries. Um, if you are gonna move here, I think, it's fair to say you might have to compromise on communal space. You might not have a living room, but the central location is amazing. So we're at Elephant and Castle right now, and uh, it's serviced by the Northern Line and the Bakerloo Line. It's about 20 minutes door to door to Guildhall, uh, but if you're a big fan of the Annex, it's about seven minutes via Thameslink to Farringdon. So uh, why Elephant and Castle? Well, as you've mentioned, Harry, it is extremely accessible to Guildhall, but also uh, here you get more bang for your buck and you can actually afford a living room, which is quite nice. Always a nice thing. Um, also an amazing, thriving uh, local community. You've got an incredible leisure centre. And also just up the road towards Borough, you have Mercato Metropolitano, which is full of restaurants and bars, um, great student scene. It also holds lots of events and concerts. Great night out. So we're currently on the overground, which goes past Dalston, Haggerston and Hoxton, and a lot of Guildhall students live here. It's slightly cheaper and it's actually really perfect if you're a keen cyclist or you want to walk into Guildhall. It's about 35 to 40 minute walk. Uh, if you're a bit closer near Hoxton, probably about a 30 minute walk. As I said, it's perfect for cycling, slightly cheaper. Um, you have a good mix of flats and houses here. Uh, it's really friendly as well and uh, lots of markets and really cool shops, charity shops uh, and lots of food options as well. We are now in Old Street. Uh, in terms of proximity to Guildhall, you can't really do better than this unless you're living in the Barbican itself. It's about a 10 to 15 minute walk to Silk Street. Um, it's also serviced by the Northern Line and Great Northern Rail. 
So it's very busy around here, lots of hustle and bustle. There's loads of clubs, restaurants and bars. Shoreditch is just down the road and north of Old Street by about five minutes is Shoreditch Park. Uh, you will pay a price for the flats around here. They're a little bit more expensive because of the proximity to the centre of uh, the city of London. Um, but if you're willing to pay that price, then this is a great location to live. So you're probably wondering why it's called the Bakerloo Line. Or you're not wondering, but you're at this part of the video. Um, it's called the Bakerloo Line because it runs between Baker Street and Waterloo. Inventive. We're at Wapping Station now. Wapping is a very interesting area as it's uh, slightly excluded from the hustle and bustle of the main roads and it's a really nice kind of like town-like area. Um, it's still fairly cheap um, because of the transport links. Uh, they're not the best here, but if you're a keen cyclist, actually, it's a really good area to live in because it's only about 15 to 20 minutes cycle into Guildhall. Um, on the weekends, it's very quiet, very safe area, and there's some really nice little uh, independent coffee shops and restaurants around this area. <laughs> We're now in Whitechapel. Whitechapel is super central. It's about a 30 minute walk to Guildhall, but it's also serviced by the district Hammersmith and City and Overground and soon to be the Elizabeth Line as well. So super close and super easy to get to Guildhall from. Lots of flats here if you're looking for a flat with two or three people. Uh, you've got the Royal London Hospital right next door here. You've got Brick Lane down the road. Uh, there is also a McDonald's just down the street. And I believe there's also a few shops like Sainsbury's and an Asda down the road. So we're at West India Quay now, which is at the north side of the Isle of Dogs. From here to Gildor, it's about 20 to 25 minutes on the DLR line. And between here and Limehouse, there are plenty of housing options. Still fairly cheap as it's slightly east of London. And when the Crossrail opens, the Elizabeth line, it'll be about 10 minutes to Moorgate on the dock. Uh, you also have the host of restaurants and bars and cafes in Canary Wharf. It's lovely at Christmas with the Christmas lights. Uh, and actually on the weekends, it's really quiet around here and it's a very safe area to live. We're now in North London at Finchley Road. Sounds like it's quite far out, but it is serviced by the Jubilee and the Metropolitan Line and takes around half an hour to get to Barbican. <laughs> if you're in a larger group and you want to find a house, uh, you're probably best uh, going north of the river in areas like Finchley um, because you're more likely to find kind of a bigger and larger spaces for you and with communal space as well. Um, also around here, you can get a short bus to Hampstead Heath, which is beautiful for running around and there's loads of cute dogs at the weekends as well. Thank you so much for watching guys and thank you for traveling around with us today huge shout out to sam who's behind the camera who's done amazing work editing this for us and make sure to check out the accommodation area guide on my guild tool and if you have any questions about housing contracts or anything to do with accommodation make sure to get in touch with the union at union at gsmd.ac.uk or contact us via our social media channels thank you for watching mm -hmm.